Hey everyone, Gary here from RC Street Wars. Today's tech tip is gonna be soldering your Yokomo ESC. I'm gonna give you my advice on the best procedure for soldering. I am gonna say this with a word of caution. Anyone who's out there, if you're not prepared to solder correctly, don't do it. Get someone else to do it. You really can do more harm than good. And what I mean by that is if you're not using the right equipment, you're not doing it the right way, you can do more harm than good. The two most important things on your RC race car, the two most important things, first your tires, because I don't care how good your car is, if the tire doesn't work, the car doesn't work. But second is your wires, because all your power has to pass through the wire. No matter how good your motor is, no matter how good your battery is, no matter how good your speed controller is, if this connection is not good, all that is not good. Everything else can be good, this can ruin it. So that being said, first thing I want to make everyone aware of is we use high quality, 100% copper wire, okay? Using 100% pure copper wire that has a coating on it to keep it from corrosion um, is absolutely critical. Cheap wire that you find on the internet things like that it looks really silver it's a luminized wire that does not carry the same amount of current as pure copper wire and you know because pure copper wire is way more expensive so when you're looking at somebody's high quality wire and it's two three four times the price than somebody else's that's why copper is expensive i don't know anyone out there who does not know that copper is expensive all right that being said um what I like to do is put my speed controller in a vise and I use a razor blade. I do this for two reasons. Um, the razor blade butts up against the side of the vise. It keeps it square, but it also gives me a nice um, place where the wires rest because I like to do this vertically. I see some people doing it horizontally like this. Well, the, the pins are horizontal, the, the thing's tipped over. In my opinion, that is absolutely the wrong way to do it. Um, you get better results this way. You don't get the solder flowing over. So I do it like this. Now, for the sake of the video, I've gone ahead and pre-tinned my wires. So you can see all my wires have got solder on them. Um, you really need to do a solid job here. All right, now, if you're not using flux, this is a huge mistake. You really need to use flux. I use this uh, number 186 Kester flux. Uh, this is absolutely the best. If you're not using high quality solder, okay, leaded solder, do not use lead free solder, do not use cheap solder. High quality solder is a must. And if you don't have a high quality soldering iron with a wide, broad chisel tip like this, don't try to do the job. This is what you need to do the job. Now, I have my iron on 890 degrees Fahrenheit. I also clean it in a wire brush like this. Um, I don't dip this in anything cold. So just like a professional welder, I like to get close to my work, so I wear goggles. And we're gonna start off by tinning one cup, okay? So I'm gonna start to apply solder to a cup, and then I'm gonna attach a wire to it, okay? So here we go. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your tip wet. The tip should always be slightly wet. Now, I apply the tip to the bottom of the cup. I let the flux kind of burn off and I fill the cup up. When I'm done, the cup looks just like that, okay? That is exactly what it should look like. Now, you always, and I repeat, always clean your iron. The next thing we're gonna do is apply a wire. Now, the way we do this, I've seen some people do it from the side and try to press through, that is absolutely wrong. We need this to be uniformly flowing. What that means is we need this to flow and this to flow, and we need to flow it together, all right? If you try to apply heat only on one side and then you're just gonna overheat the wire and then you're gonna have a cold joint here, even though you think it's good. So again, we're gonna wet the iron and we're gonna zoom in on this so we can see it. Now, what you wanna do is apply the wire to the top of the iron and then use the chisel to melt the cup. And then when it melts, you're gonna slide it right in, 
Okay, so here we go. So here we go. Now the wire has gone wet. I'm waiting for the cup to go wet. The cup is starting to go wet. The cup is wet. And we swipe down and that's it. Can you get a zoom in on that? When you're done, that's what exactly what it should look like. That's as easy as it is. You don't need any more than that. Focus it on me. All right, guys, I hope this helps um, for the purpose of video. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I wanna show you when you're doing it the right way, just how quick and easy it should be. It shouldn't be any more difficult than that. You need a very good soldering iron. Get it hot. Mine's as hot as it goes. High quality solder, flux. I really recommend magnifiers like this because getting close to the work, being able to see the solder flow is critical to doing it right the first time. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed this video.